Good morning, everybody. We are going to talk about lemon eucalyptus oil today. If you have some, go ahead and grab it so you can enjoy it while we're talking about it. I have my, let's see, that way for the camera. Hey, Jessica Bowler, thank you for joining me. I have my Christmas diffuser going with lemon eucalyptus in it. And, oh no, I left my notes in the other room, I guess. I went to grab my book and I didn't grab my notes. Let me just make sure they're not in here. They are not in here. Excuse me, I will be right back. Hi, Mom. Thank you for joining me. So, we're talking about lemon eucalyptus today. This is a very economically priced oil. You see, it's the big bottle, 15 milliliters. Retails for 16, wholesales for 12. I am pretty stoked about that. So this is steam distilled from the lemon eucalyptus, which is also known as the blue spotted gum tree. It is different from eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is sourced from eucalyptus radiata, and this is eucalyptus, eucalyptus citriodora. So it's different species of eucalyptus, it's called lemon eucalyptus because it has lemony overtones. However, there are, are no lemon, no citrus chemical components in it, so it does not cause photosensitivity like lemon would if you were to apply it to your skin. This oil is very chemically diverse, and that's one of the things that makes it a valuable oil. It's got over 36 chemical components, which are easily measurable quantities in them. Uh, this is safe to use all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally, and lots of great uses for it. It is an antibacterial, an antifungal, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, an anti-rheumatic, antiseptic, a deodorant, an expectorant, and an insecticidal. So the main ways to use this, there are four main ways to use this. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is cleaning. So this has such an economical price, um, 250 drops in a 15 milliliter bottle that works out to five cents a drop. So for five cents a drop, you can clean your kitchen countertops with it. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Um, it's very effective antiviral and antibacterial. There was a research study done with this essential oil which showed that a greater than 90% effective rate against airborne tuberculosis. So that's pretty awesome. It's a great oil to diffuse in your house if you've got a sick room um, and you're trying to keep everybody else well. This would be a great oil to use. So the second most important way, hey Carolyn, thank you for joining me. And Jackie, nice to have you with me. The second way is for respiratory issues. So it's an expectorant. That is really, really helpful when you've got respiratory issues going on and you just need to get that junk out of there. I read a testimony of a lady who had a cough that she had developed. She'd had it for more than two weeks. She had absolutely no other symptoms other than this cough 
and it wouldn't go away. It was persistent. So she had been to convention and she remembered about the eucalyptus. So she went and got her eucalyptus. She a couple drops of fractionated coconut oil in her hand, one drop of lemon eucalyptus mixed in there, rubbed it on her chest, did the exact same thing that night, one drop. So she's now got two drops in, 10 cents she spent. The next morning when she got up, her cough was gone. 10 cents. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> the third most important way is as an insect repellent. Now, doTERRA makes a ready-to-use insect repellent called TerraShield. This is one of the ingredients in TerraShield. But I am pretty stoked that I can get this at such a great price because I love using all natural, wholesome products. It has been a challenge because of living in Georgia. We have insects pretty much all year round with the horses. The problem with using essential oils on horses is there's no lasting to them. And so I have had to use a mixture of store-bought, chemically prepared fly repellent along with essential oils. And now that I have citronella and I have this, I can up my game against the bugs this next year for horses. And I am pretty stoked about that. Because this is so chemically diverse, it has up to a four hour lasting period. And it has been shown to be 97% effective against mosquitoes. The only thing that's better than that is Litsia, which we can get occasionally. If you have a source from Australia or New Zealand, you can get Litsia whenever you want. But Litsia has been shown to be chemically, uh, to be shown to be as effective as DEET. And of course, you don't have any of the side effects that you have with DEET. So if you see that doTERRA runs a Litsia special, grab you some because between eucalypt, lemon eucalyptus and Litsia, Mosquitoes will be staying away from you. So historically, I thought this was pretty cool. The leaves of this tree have been used historically to perfume closets as a deterrent for cockroaches and silverfish. So <clears throat> might be getting me some chunks of wood to put in my closets and I can just drip this on there and then the bugs will go, ooh, I didn't want to be in here. So the last way that I'm going to talk about is fungal infections. You know, athlete's foot, ringworm, other fungal issues. Um, Emily Wright talked about the lemon eucalyptus at convention, and this is what she had to say about it. Researchers have been studying candida, you know, um, gut health is a trigger thing in our society right now, and a lot of people have gut health issues, and candida is one of the problems. So researchers have been studying a better way to deal with candida because candida makes a biofilm. So it's like it puts stuff around itself, puts a little bubble around itself, so that medicines that are used to treat the candida just hit that shield, that bio field and film, and they don't um, penetrate it. So the candida is not uh, eliminated like it should be. Well, guess what? Lemon eucalyptus is effective at disrupting the biofilm of candida. That's pretty impressive. So, other things that you can use you lemon eucalyptus for um, colds, cuts, dandruff, fevers. I have a note here in my book that it has been shown effective to uh, reducing temperature like peppermint does. 
um, herpes, infectious diseases, laryngitis, scabs, sore throat, sores, and wounds. And that besides being anti-inflammatory, when you're applying it to a wound or to an area where you have discomfort, there is some analgesic benefit to it as well. So all in all, this is a pretty wonderful, well-rounded little oil that's very economically priced. And let me know what you think of it. If you learned something, drop it in the comments. And if you have any questions, of course, be sure to comment and I will answer as best as I can. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.